Pittsburgh, uh, just reviewing the map a little bit. I did actually uh, record this video once already. I didn't actually get into the map. I just got to this screen here. And then I realized I had to do something for my parents. So I did that. Cleaned up a little bit. Took out the trash. Oh, I do. Crap, I need to take it out again. You know what? I'm going to do that while it slows. <laughs> Screw that. Sorry about that, guys. Have to be a good, um, yeah, I have to be a good person. Never put off until tomorrow. Looking to it. So, the map does look pretty decent, honestly. I mean, there's a random stump there. I wonder if I can cut that with a stump cutter. Uh, that with a uh, case IH1455 tractor. Ooh, hold up. Ooh, that is nice. Okay, we actually start out with garages as well. Uh, these aren't in the base game as well as well. Hold on. Are they? Um, let me actually check Placeables. Hold on. Sorry guys. I just literally booked it through my house all the way to the back. So I Don't think this is the vehicle shelter. No, those aren't what I'm looking for. Look Yeah, I think these are um, I don't hold on. Let me try this. Let me just see real quick. Do I can I sell those? Yeah, these uh vehicle st storages right here. You can't sell these are actually modded into the game itself, which is really nice I genuinely like that, and look, as you guys can see, we have, um, a case, a case 1455, uh, XL tractor, we have a case international harvester, we have a professional line metal tech DB8 track, uh, tipper, I don't know the name of that yet, I'll figure that out later on, let's go ahead and go from there, let's go to this, we have a pickup truck, we have the harvester, Oh, that's it. Oh, yeah, that's it. Okay, we only have three bits of uh, equipment. That's pretty weird. Um, wow, that's that's actually... Hold on a minute. Let me turn off uh, the other thing. Automatic engine start off. All right. You have a tractor, a tip, a uh, harvester, a uh, uh, header, and two trailers. Ooh, you have two trailers, and you have a... You have a cultivator. You have a sower, I think. That's Yeah, that's a sower. That's a plow. And then, okay, you have a uh, fertilizer as well. So, okay, and you have three vehicle, um, three pressure washers as well, which is, pre three pressure washers, my bad. Let's go ahead and just take a look around the map. Oops. Hold on, I want to see back here. Is this open? Oh, but I think this is our, uh, chicken area, is it? No, it doesn't open, okay. Our uh, chicken area is to the left, by the way. Um, let's also see, does this open? Like, I'm, I'm really curious about a lot of things. Yeah, this opens. I think this might be our... Oh, this is another vehicle workshop. That's really nice. I might actually do a let's play on this map. That's really cool. Okay, let's close this up. Actually, we're not even going to bother. Uh, let's go forward and open the gate, though. Oh, is this not a gate? Oh, yes, it is. Oh, that's nice. All right. That's clean. Before we do that, let's go ahead and just take a little bit more of a look around the, uh, the base, like the farm area. So you have your tractors there. You have a... Uh, um, Ooh, you have the amount of storage on this map. This might be grain storage. No, that thing is, it's not even grain storage. This is actually a huge just storage area. You can back in trailers and stuff like that. That is amazing. I love that. Okay, I love that feature. And I guess this is where you store your, um, your, your, uh, hay. You, un you can unload your hay there. And I, um, I guess that's your either, either that's your fertilizer or that's your, um, grain. Or not grain, seeds. Which is either way, both those are nice. Come over here. Ooh, another game downloaded. Um, 
really good. Well, demo at least. Dead Rising 3, even though I paid for it, I still can't get it because, um, I guess they removed it or something. It says this game is not available to be played, which is so annoying because I paid like 80 bucks for that. Alright, and this looks like even more storage. Honestly, this map is just full of storage, and I think I'm going to enjoy it. Okay, that's one bit of storage. I've already seen it in there. Just another bit. Oh, okay. oh, this is a vehicle workshop, I think. Hold up. Okay, this may be a vehicle workshop. If it is, that's really lit. Hold on, let's try and pull our truck in there, and let's see if I can, uh, I can pay the $20,000 to get it modified. That'd be lit. Let's go over here. Oh my god, and we can. Okay, we can do this. Hold on. Let's get it in uh, straight white. Let's get design seven. Can we afford it? Yes, we can. Play the $4,500. Look at this thing. So the GTA rims, and now it's going to be faster. A lot of people don't think it does, but um, the actual engine upgrade itself on this truck actually does affect the speed, as I showed in my truck, uh, my truck rate testing videos. All right, let's see what's in this last garage. Then. I highly doubt it's anything different, but oh my god, this this place is like super lit. Can I go through this door? Oh my god, guys, guys, I officially love this map. All right, we have to explore more. Like, literally, I am in love with this map now. Okay, so this is another vehicle storage area. Oh my god. Okay, what's in here? Another one? Yes, it is another one. This is the, this is the silo. So, I guess you dump your food, your uh, your stuff in there, and then you come. Get the truck, hold up. And then you come this way, I guess. Let's go this way. Yeah, I guess you come this way and um. Holy crap, my dog just scared me. I mean, that's really cool. I really do actually like this map, and I might even do a Let's Play, because I have yet to do a actual farming Let's Play where I have uh, actual stuff. So let me just sell these uh, things real quick. Because I have yet to start, like, uh, is that all the vehicles I can enter? Yes, it is. Okay. So, turn off the truck. And let's look through here. So, this looks like a um, nice map to play on, I think. Let's jump back into the truck, and let's just go ahead and explore the rest of the map. Also, a nice bike. I have one of those in GTA, by the way. Let's go through this way. Let's see what's down this way. So this looks like a pretty thin road. Doesn't look like it's much for racing on. But it does look like it's a really good for this, you know, this actual farm itself. And then look, over here, this is where you can, I think this is where you can sell some. Oh no. Oh my god, a wait station. Hold on. Let's see if the wait stations are actually all the same. Okay, they are actually all the same. That's actually something I've been meaning to test, but I haven't really actually accidentally stumbled across a uh, wait station. And I think this is a, um, hold on. This is, no, that's not a selling point. Okay, I had to zoom in on it. Uh, that might be over there. Hold on. I just exploring through this map. looks really cool. No, that's not a selling point. But it is really cool to just, you know, drive around through the map. Um, it is, it's not a full-size map from where I can see. Although, however, it might be from the outside, like the outside might be um, trees, and you might be able to actually place stuff on the outside if it's flat, which I hope it is. I just, I genuinely hope it is. Let's go, um, let's go right to go out there. Okay, look. I mean, we do have to explore the map a little bit better. Um, nice guardrails to prevent you from just crashing and flying into the forest. Even though I'm pretty sure in real life, if you crash into one of those at the speed you crash in, I'm pretty sure you go through the guardrail, so... I mean, I think they only supply, uh, supply the smallest bit. Hold on, also, I want to see. Hold on. Can you open these from inside your truck? No, you have to genuinely get outside of the vehicle. Actually. Unless, are these even supposed to open? Oh, they are, yeah. So you can't open them from inside of your truck, which really does suck. Let's go ahead and just continue uh, exploring a little bit. Let's shut the truck off here. Alright, so this is like... The amount of storage on this map is just insane, okay? I'm gonna go out there and say it right now. It is just crazy. I genuinely like this map just because of the storage, okay? And that is surprising because if I'm willing to play on a map, it has to be good, okay? There has to be a lot of good things about it. The fact that it's got so much storage, like, that's just a huge plus for me because I love being able to store my vehicle. And Farming Simulator 15, since there was no placeables, I just hated not being, I just hated not being able to store my tractors. Let's go in here. Yeah, this is the door. Let's go, 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 just go through the door. Is this another vehicle workshop? Hold on a minute. Hold on a minute. Hold it. I accidentally shut it off. 
This may be where you buy vehicles from. I'm gonna try that in a second. Maybe buy a new, uh, a newer truck. Maybe buy like one of those Fords. Pull your car here. Hold on. Man. I want to see something. If I pull, like, oh my god, I can't see it. It's freaking bloody zoom out. There we go. If I pull it on that, will it fall through? Yes, it will. Oh my god. Such attention to detail. But yeah, for some reason, I won't. Hold on a minute. Is that like a char your character's fat joke? Oh no, it's not. Okay, I can get in. You can actually work on your own truck. And then look. Wait, it's two of them. Oh no, it's just one, I think. Yeah, it is just one. And then you can work on your truck from here. Yeah. So I'm not actually sure if... Hold on a minute. Let's try buying a nice newer truck. Let's buy it in red with black um, stripes. And we'll do uh, twin GT stripes and design, wheel design 7. Rim color can be white. No, you don't buy it from here. Oh, no, again. no, it's not. They're out going there. Okay, get yeah, groceries. Back is checked out. It's really nice looking. Here. Um... I wonder if this is actually... No, I don't think this is, this is real. It could be, though. Let's pop up the door. No, it isn't real. But it is just amazing how much, like, detail they put in here. You can tell they've done a lot of work for this to happen. I wonder if this one's real. Now, this would be cool if it was real, but I highly doubt it. Oh, my God. That is epic. Guys, I have never seen something like that. Wait, does it actually go up? Oh, my God, and it actually goes up as well. I have never seen anything like that. Like, the, like I haven't even seen a mod like that. That that's how difficult those are to make, by the way. Because um, to, to be able to mod something like that, it's just so much more difficult. Okay. That's why a lot of them are just uh, side to side. I'd love that, guys. Guys, this might be where we move our tree services to because I absolutely love that. Okay. The problem is, too much storage isn't that much of a bad thing, except in certain cases. So let's see if I can do work real quick. My phone went off. It wasn't, it wasn't one of the girls that I'm texting. So it's, uh... Oh my god, yes! Yes! They do have missions as well, guys. That is another huge plus. Because I don't do missions, but a lot of you guys apparently do. And that is just a huge plus right there on its own. More missions, everything, guys. This thing has, must have everything. Because it is a nice, giant, a giant approved map. Um, I'm pretty sure there's another one out there. And at the end of the episode, I will show you guys how to get the uh, map. So I didn't show that at the beginning, but I will show it at the end. So I am really am liking this map, um, from what I've seen so far. And honestly, let's just see, hold on, do they have a forestry area? Not from what I can see, yes they do, apparently. Um, we might as well drive through it after this, but look at this, hold on, this is my fault, my bad. Like, I'm getting kind of mixed up because I don't have a good sense of direction for maps like this. Once I get into the map, like, I'm saying maps like this, the newer maps, I have a terrible sense of direction for it. As well as that, there's a lot of smaller fields that you can find. If you want, you could technically, I'm pretty sure you can plow through one of the fields and like make one field, um, like make four, five, six, seven, eight, nine into one field. Because I'm pretty sure if you plow, it turns it into a field. Not 100% sure, but I'm like 99% sure. So you could even do that, or you could just have um, four for wheat, five for barley, six for canola, seven for corn, eight for beetroot, and nine for uh, grass. And have them all like set up so you can have the ultimate farm, okay? Be like, I am the ultimate. Yeah, they, there is a forestry area as well. As you guys can see here, on the left and right, there's a little trail. Hold on, I'll show you guys the trail in a second. Pull back into here. Um, there it is, right there, look. As you guys can see, uh, I am having collisions with these trees, so they must be real. Which, I can even turn this into my, uh, like I said, my, um, my one series. Because I was telling, talking about moving that series, because I did actually add a... Uh, not in this episode, it was not enough, uh, it wasn't labeled it, I don't think, I think it was labeled planning. Basically I said, yeah, I could do it because I loaded up a bunch of stuff into a semi-truck, checked out the prices, it wasn't even that much if I, uh, leased the semi-truck. And I could just move down here and have all I need down here, which is going to be pretty cool. So, um, I think I've explored this part, let's go ahead and just teleport to the other, the truck, and let's explore this area, because I don't think I've been here. No, I haven't. So this area looks pretty cool, let's see, do these open up? No, they don't. That would have been really cool if they did, though. And look at that lawn mowers. Wait. Can I grab it? Ah, oh, That would have been amazing if I could grab it. What I have yet to see, and I'm hoping to see soon, is a mod that has basically, like, a uh, Dodge Ram, a newer truck in it, or a Chevy. Something like that would just be amazing. I have seen Ford Mustangs. I've seen the Ford trucks. 
seen the, uh, old, the older Dodge truck mod uh, modded, but I've yet to see the new, a newer Dodge truck or a Chevy or anything like that uh, modded in. The three vehicle mods I have, what well, I have seen are this truck right here, but except with the Ford logos. And I really don't like it because it does lower the frame rate just the smallest bit. It does actually say that it will. So I don't like it for that reason, but I also have the um, older Dodge, which just has um, straps on it for the bed. And I don't, I don't mind that one either, but it's lifted a little bit and it just takes away from the base game because then a lot of people are like, dude, you're doing stuff that we can't do. And I hate it when I see people doing that. It's like, ugh. That's why I also show off the mods I use. I show how to get them, or at least most of them. Like I've shown how to get mods. Um, and yeah, it's really cool. And if you guys don't know, I will actually uh, explain that at the end of the episode, just like I do all the time. Look at this. Hold on. If that garage works, if one of these garages work from these houses, I am getting this game and I'm gonna play it. Oh, it doesn't. Okay. Also, I want to see something. Is traffic on? Let's turn traffic off. Oh, it doesn't get rid of those vehicles. Okay. I would have loved it if I could get rid of those vehicles, but apparently they don't. So it's whatever. Because I'm all coming. Pull forward right here. Let's see. Is this openable? Okay, that one might not be openable. Let's try this one. No, they don't open. Okay. I mean, there is still, even, even though those don't open, there is still so much amount of storage. Like, there's an insane amount. Also, is this like, wait, is that a gold nugget? That is a, hold on a minute. That, that, that is, hold on. That's a gold nugget. That means there's a gold nugget uh, hunt, guys. That means there's a gold nugget hunt. Guys, that is amazing. Uh, it's a driver truck down. It's pretty cool. I mean, I could even do a gold nugget hunt on this guy. This this map is actually absolutely amazing. What I want to see though is I want to see Westbridge Hills again. Like, that was a good map. Um, that's been a good map since 13. I think it was in 13. I know it was in just the base farming simulator. Like that's all it was called at the time. And I'm pretty sure that's all it's called now. It might be 13. I have zero idea what the distinction between the two is. Okay. But it was the farming simulator that was on PS3. So. Yeah. I'm gonna look up Farm Simulator 13. If that pops up, then I know it is Farm Simulator 13. Um, so let's drive this way. Go past this dude. And this is just an all-around amazing map. I love this map. Okay, now that I've seen it, and it's just, it's just a really nice map. Also, hold on a minute. If I can do this, this makes the map even that much better. Okay. Oh, you can't grab them. No, they're fake. This isn't fake, but you can't grab them. Oh, that that kind of stuff. But it's, it's okay, because, you know, it's just a, a realism element that I use, like, to use to mess around with, like, uh, role-playing and stuff for my uh, world. But still, it's still pretty cool. There's another pressure washer, by the way. Um, third pressure washer. It's like a pressure washer, kind of How many pressure washers are there? Three. You gotta find them. Uh, I think they're randomly scattered as Hold on, there's 64 maps. There, I mean, 64 for games. That is actually pretty cool. Love from what I can see, at least 64. 60, 60. Yeah, there's exactly 64 maps. I'm pretty sure that's for coding issues because uh, 64 is a really easy number for binary code. So I'm pretty sure that's for um, uh, coding reasons, but it might not be. I don't know. Guys. Okay. But that is really cool. So, you know, thank you guys for uh, watching. I'm not done yet. If you guys know how to download maps, and you guys don't need to see this part, but if you don't, then you guys might as well want to watch it. So these guys are stopped or something. I don't know. Let me see what this says. Hold on. It says... Oh, there's a... There's a, um... Oh, boy. Okay, so the biogas is that way. Let's see what's this way, though. I, can't, I don't understand this. Let's go this way. I do see a building. I think this might be, like, a shop or something. Yeah, it is a shop, I From the right though, I think that's a, um, that might be our actual base farm. Oh no, this is the, um, yeah, this is the vehicle workshop I was talking to you guys about. Wait, is it showing up on the map as a vehicle workshop, like, in here? No, it doesn't, okay. I thought it would have, I didn't really think it would, but, like, it seemed like it might. But yeah, this is actually a really good map that you might want to play on. I mean, it's just, like, it's nice, all around looks nice. It's got all this storage. So you could even store, you don't have to store vehicles in there, by the way. You could store in cars and stuff like that. And if you guys mod the game, like um, how I have with my Mustang, and you get like multiple vehicle mods. I only have the Mustang, because that's, in my opinion, the best one that I've had so far. Currently no mission. Yeah, there is, there is missions, though. So, 
if you guys do that, you guys can actually, you know, have some fun and even put vehicles in there. Have vehicles hidden around the map. And do like a 5-0 mod, basically. Do a nice little role-playing series, because I'm pretty sure there's like, you can have 20 people in one of these servers. But, uh, let's go ahead and let's connect with the game, without saving, of course. And we have to delete it. I don't, I don't, I want to delete it on video, so I know I deleted it. Because if I don't delete it on video, I'm not going to remember I deleted it. But if I delete it off, off, on video, I know I'll delete it. So, you go to mods, um... This is actually something a lot of people don't know about, and they're like, Dude, how do you mod your PS4? You're playing on PS4 or Xbox One, right? Yes, I am playing on PS4, as you guys can see. Uh, on career it says X, on multiplayer it says X, on uh, all this stuff it says X. I'm pretty sure on PC you have to actually use your mouse. Or if you're using a controller, it doesn't say X, it just like humble, like uh, goes over it. But you go, to, you go down on uh, this home page, and you go down to mods. I didn't spot this a long time, and so basically I'm like, let me go see trophies. Let me see what trophies I have, right? Okay, and then I'm like, wait a minute, what's this? And then I realized, oh snap, mods. Okay, so I clicked on that. You click on the mods, and then you got this whole mod menu right here. Um, and I kind of recommend certain mods. Then you go to maps, and Lozenberg is right here. Okay, it's pretty cool. I guess the other map I was thinking about is on here. It's on PC only, because um, I did at least see some stuff on Twitter about a new map being released. So I don't know. Okay, this is the three maps I've gone over, and you just click it. You click select, and then it says uninstall now, but it say uh, install. And all right, this map supports all the default features of FS17. Furthermore, you can find the following addition functioning additional features: more than 15 completely new buildings and objects. Spline. Wait, what? Spline base and individual street network. Okay. A lot of new textures for buildings, objects, and foliage. Also, crops, doors to open, light switches, light switches in every gameplay-related building, fertilizer, and seed storage. Three farms to choose of. Three farms to choose of. Custom lighting. No light mod. That is amazing, guys. That is really cool. And um, you know that's easy. If you guys don't want that one, you guys can go to this one right here. And this one's got a bunch of other stuff as well. Cause look, you guys can. Oh, I think it just has dot 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 then. Oh no, does it? Oh. What's this map? Yeah, you know you guys can see. It. And they all have certain things. Um, but this one just really catches my attention. It's actually probably one of the bigger ones. But thank you guys for watching, and I'll, I'll see you all in the next video. Like if you like it, share it if you like it, and subscribe if you're new around here. I try to do these kind of videos daily on my channel, and if you subscribe, you'll see them daily on their homepage. So goodbye. Hold up, wait, other. Oh, I remember that. Yeah, yeah. Also, if you guys are looking how to get money, go to Other, and there's a money cheat box, which gives you like $10,000 a day. Just, you know, pro tip.